Hey guys, how are you? So today I'm going to show you how I how I cook biko. This is a favorite dessert in the Philippines. You can actually see this in every occasion because it symbolizes luck, wealth, and prosperity. Just like in the Chinese, where they have the tikoi. This is the Philippine version of the Chinese tikoi. So for this recipe, I'm going to put all the ingredients down in the description box. But because I use a different coconut milk, it's not the usual coconut milk that we use. So I've adjusted the sugar. You'll see it in the video, but you don't have to do that. You can just follow the ingredients that I'm going to put in the description box. So I'm going to use glutinous rice. I'm going to use brown sugar. And I'm also going to use um, salt and pandan flavoring. But if you have the pandan leaves, you are more than welcome to use that. And also I'm going to use an unsweetened coconut milk and coconut cream. So for this rice, we have to use, we have to cook the rice, the glutinous rice first. So I started with one can of coconut cream in can and then two cups of the coconut milk, the unsweetened coconut milk. But because this is a glutinous rice, it's going to need a lot of liquid. So I ended up using the entire one liter of coconut milk. So um, also another thing is it's best for you to cook this glutinous rice in a stove rather than using your rice cooker because it's going to need a lot of time to cook. And while it's cooking, you can also check and see if it needs more of the liquid. Some of them, they cook their glutinous rice with water, but I would, I prefer cooking it with coconut milk already because then it'll start, you know, getting all the flavors from the coconut milk. So while that's cooking, you can start doing the step two, which is the lettuce or the one that will give that flavor to your biko. So this is how you're going to do the step two or the making of the latik. You just add your coconut milk, put it in medium heat, and then you add your sugar, and then you just stir it until the sugar has dissolved. And then you have to wait until the coconut milk has thickened up a bit. You'll see the difference, you know, between the two. You'll see that it will get really thick and it will get brown. but Put it in a, you know, when, once it started boiling, maybe turn the heat down a little bit more so that you don't burn your sugar. And then you just keep on stirring it. Once it's thick enough, not too thick though, but once it's thick enough, you can separate like half a cup of the of this uh, latik. You can separate that and you can pour it over your bico later or you can just leave it as it is because that's how i want my beagle so once the so sauce is thick enough you just add the cooked glutinous rice into it and then you have to continue stirring it i stirred mine for 30 minutes so you have to keep on stirring it and make sure that every glutinous rice is coated with this sauce or the latik and then you just keep on doing that don't forget to add your salt into this because that will balance the taste so with this video that i'm showing you you'll see me adding you know adjusting the sugar because i'm tasting it while i'm doing it and i'm thinking in my mind that you know bearing in mind that i have the glutinous rice that doesn't have any any taste to it or doesn't have any sugar 
so I just while I'm doing this I'm also tasting it so you can also do that if you think that the recipe is if you think the sugar in the recipe is not enough you can keep on adding sugar it will it will just depend on your taste I like my beagle not too sweet that's why I have to keep on tasting it to make sure that it will not be too sweet you know when I finish adding all of it so this is the cooked glutinous rice so once like what I said earlier like once the sauce is thick enough you can start adding them and then you keep on stirring and mixing until everything is well coated and you will actually see it because the glutinous rice will become heavier and heavier until it's really hard to stir them and mix them that's the time that you know that you are done okay so like what i said when i was doing this i i mixed it i stir it for 30 minutes okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this wonderful video that i have for you today and if you do please consider giving it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to that so you'll be notified every time we post a new video until next time guys and i hope you enjoy this beagle see ya